Kari, let's take a look at uh, your forehand, and we're really focusing on your footwork. On the right is the latest time we hit, the most recent time we hit. The one on the left is when you hit a couple of weeks ago. Most important, we want to look at your footwork as you anger your right foot so that you are not crossing your left foot over your right. So worst case scenario is you're, you're, you can absolutely hit the ball um, with an open stance anchored with the right foot and using that for power. So as you take a look, number one and number, uh, important is as you move to the ball, you kind of want to be somewhat facing the net. Um, you do not want your hips to be facing straight to the uh, right wall. Um, part of the things to think about is look at your left foot, see where your toe is. Um, as you can see, it's facing somewhat towards the net, and it's not here uh, towards the wall. Um, and then secondly, you absolutely want to get that right foot outside as you've done here. And then you start turning your shoulders, turning your hips as you approach the ball, like here. Good shoulder turn, good hip turn. Now your hips are facing somewhat to the side fence. Um, and now look, your right foot is absolutely planted. Now you can rotate your shoulders and let your hips go. And now you can freely swing across this way and get the ball deeper, more angle to cross court. Um, number two, as you can see, you're hitting here. Awesome. The next benefit of this is look at your balance and look where your right foot is now and your first step over, you're already recover and the ball's not even over the net. And you've literally covered five or six feet with your first step across. So look at that. Those are the benefits that you can get out of, you know, getting to the ball and anchoring with your right foot because you have enough power here to hit through and then push off and get back to the court in one step. Here's your second step and you're pretty close. So that's key. Let's look at what you've done here on the left-hand side. Um, really what you did early on. And so the first things I'm looking at is look at your hips. They're already pointed towards the side fence. Look at your left foot it's already going to be pointing towards the fence and you step in and here's the reasons why it's difficult to hit a good forehand when you stepped in this way number one with that left foot stepped in or anchored down your hips cannot freely rotate around they're probably going to face the net number one number two um, you're going to have to swing across your body so that means you're not going to hit a ball with a lot of power you're probably going to have to loop the ball deep back cross court if you can most likely if you're going to hit a hard shot it's probably going to be in this area um, and just for future reference if anyone's going to, if you see someone hitting a ball like this with their front foot their best shot is actually going to be down the line but we'll get into that later but as you can see you hit the ball very well can it's it's a loop and it's not bad but now let's look at your follow through your follow-through is where is your weight going? It's still moving over to the right side. Now you recover back, get your balance, ball is across the net, and now you can start shuffling back. So your first shuffle back to the net or back towards the center is now, and I'm starting to hit the ball again. So now you can see the benefits of somewhat of the open stance with a full turn with good balance.